This switch here mm -hmm. just works your outside light. So you have a, a, oh, okay. a security light outside. Okay. Here's the button for your slide, which is just this little piece right here. Right. And it just moves in and out. The biggest thing is you got to make sure all the doors and drawers and stuff are closed because there ain't a whole lot that'll stop this electric motor. <laughs> Um, this is your hot water heater. Okay. Currently it is, it is on just so that I can show you that it works. Okay. Um, this is your information panel. It tells you there's the charge on your battery. Okay. Uh -huh. There is water in the fresh tank. There's water in both other tanks because we test them for leaking and I left it in there just to show you that they do indeed work. Okay. Um, this basically is your whole home entertainment system here. Okay. Um, But uh, it plays DVDs, um, CDs, MP3s. You can put a USB in here. You can hook in an MP3 player here. Uh, it even has headphones. Uh, um, there is no C. Eventually, if you wanted to put more speakers in, you could hook it up to this port. Okay. The B button works the speakers that are in the back part. Ah. The A button works the ones that are in here. So somebody could be in here sleeping, somebody could be out there listening to music. Okay, and you wouldn't disturb them. Exactly. Okay, with the speakers being right there. Yep. Okay. Um, right here, you have another hookup for your TV. Mm -hmm. There's also one in the back. Right. Um, you got your power here. This is your powered antenna. Um, this is for if you have, if you're hooked to park cable. Okay. It'll hook to the outside and come through here and then you can pick up their channels. Um, 12 volt power source if you have a 12 volt TV. Um, this is wired into these jacks here okay. for your AV and your sound, which will give you surround sound as well. Um, and there's a clip on the back of the TV where it just pops in here and then it'll swivel out so you can watch it. Okay. Now where's the cooking for the cable from outside to here? Uh, I'll show you that when we get out there. That's fine. There's a, there's a hookup for cable and then there's a hookup for a phone line. Okay. Um, right here is your uh, temperature controls. It's actually a pretty simple setup. You got your on off switch right here and it's also the mode switch okay so you hit it once it'll turn on the fan on auto you can do high fan low fan there's your ac okay kicks the ac on this here you got this nice little slide here for when you first come in here if it's hot in here crack that open it'll blow all the air straight down and cool it off really quick close that up and it'll start blowing out the other ports in all four directions. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. And then we'll switch her over to the furnace, which is actually right down there. Okay. The only downfall I've seen about that furnace sitting there is if the table isn't there, yeah. it'll set off your uh, fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's got a cycle. So basically the furnace will keep this bed nice and warm. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it'll be nice and toasty. So then, okay, so that's the furnace and what's that down there? That is your uh, your power center here. Oh, like okay. Right. I said it looked like the furnace thing. For... No. This is your power center. Okay, for the fuse. It has all your 110 breakers. Oh, okay. And all your 12 volt fuses. Okay. If you have a problem with any of your electrical systems, this is the first place you want to look. If you have a bad fuse, it's got a little LED light next to it that'll light up if there's a fuse bone. And obviously the breakers will just trip. Right. Okay. And they are all marked on either side to tell you exactly what they go to. Okay. If you have a problem where your battery's not charging, you're running on battery power and it's not charging, you want to check these two fuses here. They're they're 40 amp fuses. They go to the converter, which converts the 110 over to 12 volt to charge the the battery. Okay. Those do not have an LED light to tell you that they're bad. Ah. Those you just have to pull out and, and inspect. Okay. Uh, microwave is actually microwave and convection oven. Mm -hmm. um, there's the plate you use for the convection side of it. Okay. You definitely want to take this out when you use the microwave Which side, side of it because it, it is it's metal. metal. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll make you a pretty light show. <laughs> And then no oven left. <laughs> but for the, the convection, you just hit convection. Okay. And then here's all the preset temperatures. 
Mm. And then for the microwave, it just works like a regular microwave. Okay. okay. It's got all the presets for, you know, spaghetti, potato, popcorn, all that stuff. Okay. Your refrigerator. This is actually the newest model they've come out with. Okay. It runs on 110, 12 volt, and gas. Okay. Um, a lot of them just run on gas or 110. The, the 12 volt, they just went back to, they used to do it years ago. Um, here's your mode switch. Okay. You hit it once and then it'll light it up. You hit it again, it'll drop down to where it's running on. Now it's running on battery. Now it'll run on LP. Okay. Mm. Um, you hear it clicking, right. it's getting ready to fire. I'm gonna mm. switch that back up to 110. Um, here's your temperature control. Oh, I see. That uh -huh. turns it down. That turns it up. She's full blast. Uh, the biggest thing with these is before you go camping, to get them to where they're cool enough like to put your before. food in it, um, it has to run for 12 hours okay. on 110 to get to the operating temperature. Wow. Or 24 hours on LP or 12 volt to get to operating temperature. Wow. This thing's been plugged in since yesterday. So she's nice and so cool in there. She's nice and cool. Wow. Yeah, you can feel it. <laughs> also, you have a removable freezer with the, the cushion there. You can't really pull it out, which is kind of a stupid setup. But it is removable. Okay. They do come with a nice tray. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Unless you want to. I think the only purpose for that would be to turn it into a complete freezer from top to bottom. Oh, okay. I don't see other, any other reasoning for that. Right. So, so you're just saying, like, when we come, pick it up for the weekend. Like the day before, we just go <clears throat> to the storage yard and just turn on the gas and just turn on the fridge. and then. Yeah, if you got okay. a full tank of LP, you can just turn on the gas and, and go, and you're fine. And then once you hook up, you can switch over to 12 volt, right. and then the charge line will keep the battery charged while you're driving down the road. Right. Okay. <coughs> um, obviously, you got your standard right. smoke, uh, detector. smoke detector, carbon monoxide right. detector. Okay. Um, down here on the floor is an LP detector. Okay. If you have a gas leak, um, that thing will detect LP at what they say, one ten thousandth of the capacity needed for it to explode. Okay. So the faintest bit of LP and that thing will go off. Okay. It'll scream like a banshee. So even if you're a heavy sleeper, that'll wake you up. <laughs> so what do we do if it does go off? Uh, what you want to do, first thing is get out of the camper. Okay. Go turn off the gas. Okay. Open up the windows, air it out, you know, and, and try to figure out where your gas leak is coming from. Okay. You know, sometimes you can just accidentally hit one of these and boom, you got gas flowing in your Ah, uh, and then that will go off. Exactly. So chances are it's probably... You didn't turn this off all the way. Yeah, because we yeah. leak check everything. We gotta we gotta okay. pressure test them to make sure that there's no no pressure bleed off at all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so in terms of what we could do here in the cabin itself, this is pretty much it to check for the gas. Yeah, this okay. because uh, this actually when it's running on gas, where the gas line is is sealed off to the inside, so there's no way that okay. any gas from here can get inside. The only other thing is. Uh, your furnace. Yeah. Ah, that'd be the only other uh, thing. But it's like I said, we test them for leaks, so there's but, currently yeah. no leaks. But like, if we have a leak while we're out camping, it's the furnace. All we can do is just bring it in and just say, "It's." Leaking. I got a leak somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. This okay. is just basic, you know, two burner stove. Yep. Bring her all the way over. Give uh, her some fire. Okay, so you have to. Light yeah, the you'll match. need a lighter. Okay. One of those nice little long yeah, camping does, lighters yeah. work real fine. Otherwise, okay. I you pretty much have don't have any hair left on yeah. my hand from okay. doing that anymore. And I take <laughs> it the screws here, you unscrew to clean underneath. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, they're just they're just hand tight. Oh, okay. Just should be fine. But it's hand yeah. tight. Okay. And there's. I gotta take the knobs off. Ah. You know what? I just did this the other day too. <laughs> And then there's okay. the underneath. Okay. okay. See, so you can still see a little bit of the solution from when I leak tested it. Ah. Little spots down there. Yeah. Okay. It's just a real pain to get them lined back up. Ah. You do take them off.
right here is the switch for your pump. Okay. You can hear the pump kick right. on. Um, underneath this compartment here, the pump is all the way in the corner. Next to it is the hot water heater. And then you got your furnace. Um, the only reason you really need to get in here would be to winterize it. Okay. Um, there's four screws that that hold this in. Uh huh. Um, unless you're going to take it somewhere and have them winterize it for you, because the bypass for the hot water heater is in there, and then okay. the most for winterizing is in there. Okay. On this side, there's a storage compartment. Oh, there is storage in here. I believe so. Yep. Yep. There's storage in there on this side. Oh, I got. But the you got to pull all the cushions off to be able to open it. Up. Right. Okay. But you do have storage in there. Okay. It's set up on hinges. Yeah, so like some, for example, a foam mattress pad. Yeah, you could probably oh, yeah. stick that in. Yeah, yeah, but I just noticed the bunks here doesn't really have much of a pad on it, so. Yeah, but we're okay. going to sleep over here anyway. Plus you have yeah. other storage compartments on the outside as well. Yeah, I'm just talking about like if we have people over here. Right. right. Well, the top bunk comes down. That, that's the yeah, top it's bunk. Yeah, it's locked in with these oh, okay. little hooks, and then it drops down, so you have two bunks here. And then I'll show you how this works, where it drops down, and that'll turn into, like, a double bed. Right. Okay, now that I got the pump on, here's your sink. So screw in. Once you screw this down, um, it seals it. And then you'll hear the pump kick on. There is also outside a city water connection, so if you're at a park somewhere, you can hook up. You'll get a lot better water pressure than what that pump can put out. Right. See, now the pump's starting to pick up. I said I had the hot water heater running, so you can see you got some nice, toasty, warm water there. Cool. So that's the pump. Yep, that. That, uh, that in the fresh water tank, is just for if you're out somewhere at like a tailgate party right. or something like that where you don't have access to um, electricity or, uh, or for, water. Right. Mm -hmm. um, in this nice little box here is the the, the little tent that goes outside. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Um, I did not set it up because we don't have the room to do it. Right. Um, from what I saw of, because uh, I went and looked online, they're really easy to set up. They just slide into the slot at the top and then along the side they have little uh, suction cups with hooks that it hooks to, so they're pretty easy to set up. Okay. So like I was saying, your bunk, you just, come on now. They're nice and tight because they're new. Pull oh, those out. okay. See? And your bunk drops down. Bunk drops down, okay. Yep. So to get up here, Basically, you got to step on there or have a little step stool or oh, okay. something like that. <coughs> yep. Or use the top bunk for storage and in case if someone else needs to sleep up there. Yeah. All your outlets are ground fault. Mm -hmm. um, if they're within five feet of water, they have to be hooked to the GFI. Okay. So because that one's between the bathroom and the sink, it is. You got one here, which is also GFI right. because it's close to the sink. Um, all your external ones are also hooked to this. So if you have a problem where your outlets aren't working, mm -hmm. if your breaker's not blown, check that. Green light's on, you're good.